Welcome back to Health Matters. I'm Dr. Mark Castellaw with Baptist Medical Group. Here with my co-host, P.D. Parrott. Memphis parents now have another option for pediatric emergency care. Joining me to talk about the new facility is Anita Vaughn. Anita, this is P.D. Parrott. Anita is the administrator and CEO of the Spence and Becky Wilson Baptist Children's Hospital. Welcome. Thank you. Now, in Memphis, when you think about pediatric care uh, in the hospital, you think about Le Bonheur. So why did Baptist get into the business of a pediatric hospital? Well, Baptist has been in the business of pediatrics for 102 years. And uh, we've mainly uh, done that pediatric service at Baptist Memphis. Uh, but at Baptist Women's, we've always wanted to have the two services together. We deliver 5,000 babies a year, and the parents have always said, we came here for our delivery, we trusted you for our delivery, I want to be able to bring my children back here. And our general and uh, specialty pediatricians have also voiced that same issue. We want to be able to have an east location. Now, what type of uh, facility and care can you get at this at this hospital? Well, we have a general pediatric emergency room. And uh, general, we're not a, a tertiary care like Le Bonheur. So the type of care, you're gonna, we're gonna see children with respiratory issues like asthma, uh, RSV, uh, flu, we just got, hopefully are over that season, uh, broke bones, uh, those type injuries like that. Uh, GYN, plastics, uh, eye. So a whole f mm -hmm, mm -hmm. field All of, those of things. Your child has fever, your child is dehydrated, you're worried about this, you're going to bring them in. Now, besides the emergency room there, what other uh, do you have? It, uh, can children be admitted there for surgeries or uh, medical issues as well? Right. We have a, a surgical department, uh, we have an inpatient. Uh, pediatric unit, a 12-bed inpatient unit, and we have a whole uh, diagnostic area called PD Perch. So this is uh, diagnostic equipment, x-rays, CAT scans, things that are more tailored for children in, in right. the pediatric yes, sir. population. Okay, now I, I know that uh, the Wilsons helped expedite the building of the hospital. How did that come about? Well, through their generous, generous gift, when we met with them, told them our plans, and they immediately told us they wanted to be a part of it. And this has just been a transforming gift to us, and it's really helped us really get our program on the road much faster than we thought we could. Is the hospital up to full capacity right now? Do you have all the facilities there that you need to operate, or are you still in transition? We're well, still somewhat in transition, but uh, we've got the inpatient unit, we've got surgery, we've got the ED, we've got the diagnostic area. And when I say we're in transition, we built a four-story hospital, but we've only opened the first floor so far. So you got room to grow. Yes, we do. And speaking of room to grow, what do you foresee some of the future uh, uh, facility issues that you might have? Well, I think we're going to need another inpatient unit. Um, since we've had the emergency room open, we have spilled over from our 12-bed inpatient unit, we've spilled over into the adult hallway so, uh, with the number of children we have. So I foresee we're going to need another 12-bed unit. Uh, the other plans are for a PICU, a pediatric intensive care, and we're started the planning for that right now. Now, right now when uh, when a baby is born at the women's hospital and if they need uh, uh, extra care, uh, are, do they stay at the women's hospital or are they transferred over to the pediatric hospital? They stay in the women's. We have a 40-bed neonatal ICU with six neonatologists. We've had that unit uh, in some form or shape for 40 years, so we've long been in that business. Well, by personal experience, uh, my uh, second grandchild was a little on the hefty side, and he had to spend a few days there, and the care there is just wonderful. The nurses, the staff, it's an excellent uh, facility Thank you. as well. Thank you. 
Uh, so the way Baptist has this set up, we have the women's hospital and then we have the pediatric hospital. So there's comprehensive care for women and the, the children that might uh, become ill. Now, what about uh, pediatric surgery? Is that done at the hospital now? Yes, sir. Uh, we just hired a pediatric general surgeon last June and we're in the process right now of recruiting our second pediatric general surgeon. Uh, so I think we're well on our way of having general surgery totally covered. Um, but we do pediatric uh, ENT, pediatric ear, nose, throat, and pediatric ophthalmology, pediatric GYN, and uh, orthopedic. So a lot of the specialties, yes. So what we can tell our, our, our viewers is that this is another option for pediatric care uh, in the Memphis area. Like you said, it's not a tertiary hospital right. where you have severe trauma or issues like that that would be seen at Le Bonheur. But this would be a place to go, as you said, when children are running fever, they get sick, they, have, they fall and break a bone. Baptist can uh, meet the needs of the patients. Yes, we can. It's very easy access and quick turnaround. Well, thank you so much for being here today. And it's an exciting place. I drove by it on the way to the studio. It's a beautiful hospital as thank well. Thank you. And thanks to the Wilsons for their generous donation to this wonderful Baptist facility. Did you know that some eye diseases show no symptoms whatsoever? Next, a specialist will give us information on eye health and explain how Baptist is providing comprehensive eye services for pediatrics and families. So stay tuned.